Every single minute you ever put into speed climbing is useless the second you didn't qualify. You need to sacrifice all of your personal life. Ah, sacrifices. The way the format works, the way we had to qualify, meant that every athlete had to pick up a new discipline. And with the Olympics now, I had this new discipline that I only did with the purpose of qualifying. And that was the biggest uh, sacrifice in my training, in my climbing life. Like it doesn't, it was all for nothing if you don't qualify for the Olympics. I think that's the main difference between the, like this format and normal World Cups, because usually like you enjoy your training. And if, if you train for bouldering world championships and you don't make finals, you get to climb outside and you're in your best shape ever, so you kind of get rewarded in a different way. Yeah. But with speed climbing, like, there's not, none of that, yeah. <laughs> so, I mean, I gotta talk to Mad Rock, but I think the second I, I'm done with the Olympics, I'm gonna burn my speed climbing shoes and I, I mean, I, I'm, I'm done with that shit. <laughs> Uh, I'll try one after. <laughs> uh, the black one looks cool. In Olympics for sure, we are only black climbers. He's black like me, I like that. <laughs> <laughs> In the international camp, uh, it's not a problem. We are black, just we are women. Huh? It's the same, the same. We go, we go climbing, we go in competition with uh, Russian guy, uh, Slovenian, American, uh, Japan. We are climber, just that. <laughs> okay, are we ready? <laughs> oh shit! Yeah, to try is to give yourself a chance to succeed. <laughs> okay, it's not finished. If you have good, need to try, 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 try. If, if you don't try, you, yes, you can win. You need to sacrifice all of your personal life. I think, okay, I give all, no regrets. For sure, Olympics is it's very, very good for, for, for our sports. And I think for the next generation is that you have inside climber, outside climber. It's, it's that for Bassani. We, we are inside, uh, we climb only inside. When we go outside, it's for chill or for with friend and not for performance or, or climbing, it's only for holiday. Sometimes I do easy routes in rest day and yeah, I feel better for the next trainings. I just like climbing easy routes, <laughs> sometimes more than hard routes. I feel like a big honor to be the part of Olympics. The one of the 20 climbers who go to it and I'm happy to <laughs> introduce the climbing for uh, many, many people, especially in my country. Second boulder of the day. I have uh, opportunity to show what climbing is a perfect, amazing, beautiful, dynamic sport. Yeah, I feel big honor to be a part of this game. Alexei went through like Surgery. I think he would he would not have been able to qualify unless the European Championships got like moved to uh, to last year. Yeah, 
this was like uh, maybe very very stupid thing to try to competition after <laughs> three months after surgery but still like big journey i just uh, have you know like conversation <laughs> like deal with myself that i will do everything for it till i have the chance i will do everything so nothing else matter i'm really glad i qualified i mean all all the work you put in all the sacrifices probably seem like a lot if you don't qualify and seem like they're worth it if you do so you could definitely feel that tension at all the qualification events i mean it meant so much to a lot of athletes that uh, you saw a lot of emotions out on the mats and at these comps okay I mean, at some point um, I'll have to stop competing, obviously. I'm 29 year years old now and I don't know, there's no 40-year-old um, doing the comps right now. Barca, he is old. <laughs>